Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to LP Freak After Dark. I have not done one of these in three months. And I'm sorry. For anyone that does like the podcast, I'm very sorry. A lot has happened since then. Quarantine has happened. COVID-19 has happened. <laughs> and we are we're all home or unless you're an essential worker, you're working. And to start that off is thank you for all the people that are essential workers out there in the grocery stores and everything helping us and all the people at the restaurants that have drive throughs and ones that are doing like free delivery and to all those small businesses the same to you I hope everyone's able to order from small businesses and help them out um, technically I've been quarantining before they told us to quarantine because I think the last time I saw my friends was um, maybe a week before the stay at home order hit the stay at home order hit like a day before I think yeah, a day before thanks st. Patrick's Day can't talk and I was already staying home before then so yeah and Here's one thing, a reason of why I'm used to this is last year we didn't have a car from March to the beginning of December of last year and we were depending on people to take us to the store and stuff and yeah we were stuck at home like basically all the time so we're used to it <laughs> um we've been going to to the stores for when we need stuff and that's about all we've been doing really haven't seen any of my friends and um it does suck but I want to stay safe and social distance myself like everyone should be taking a drink of my Arizona green tea yeah now that should be like a thing that I should do is drink some Arizona green tea when I'm doing a podcast that'd be so fun yeah like like guy it's it's just like graveyard girl when she's like um what is it tea time like sippy sippy and she goes ah, or something like that I don't know it's been a while sorry if you hear me swallowing I brushed my teeth and my mouth is dry and yeah, I feel like I haven't had anything to drink after that. My mouth is, like, dry. Um, so I feel like I'm drinking it way too hard. But, um, yeah, what I was saying was, um, quarantine. Haven't seen anybody. So, so, social distancing, like everyone should be doing. Um, today, actually, in my state... They decided that they're opening up businesses, certain certain businesses, like non-essential. And I'm like, what? And we're not the only state. I think Georgia did it first, and we're just like, what the hell? Like, why? Like, like 322 new cases was in Kentucky today. And... Like, more people died. And I'm just like, and it's like, you want to open up the business? Like, businesses, like, that aren't essential? Like, what the fuck? And talking about, like, oh, if people go in and dine and dine in and 
eat food, um, to have disposable menus and use canned drinks if they get soda. Don't use can like glasses and stuff. Use cans and really, I do understand the fact that everybody hasn't been able to work. So many people are unemployed and fil filing for unemployment and. It's just, like, I understand, but there are certain things that I don't think sh that should be opening back up right now. Like, say if they reopen cloth clothing stores. Like, there could be people that could fix up the store, the people that work there. And then they can go back behind the register or go where they need to be. Wear a mask, wear gloves if they want to, and if someone wants to come into the store, they can look around, but if they need help, keep keep a distance and work something out with the um, register where they don't have to touch, they can have some plastic thing in front of them to keep everyone separate. Today we went to Dollar General and they used a pool noodle and put it in front of where the customer stands and they put like a, like, I don't know what kind of plastic it was, but there was some type of plastic that was taped on the pool noodles to keep like, um, separation. DIY it. DIY that shit. <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was cool. But, um, yeah, I just don't think certain things should be opening back up. If they think about certain things, like what I just said, like the clothing stores, there's certain ways that they could do it. But when it comes to, like, food, like dining in, I don't think they need to open those right back up. Honestly. Like, I think they need to, like figure it out better like some other system and giving the people the food and all that before they open back up if they open back up I just think they shouldn't honestly I just think certain things shouldn't but that's just my opinion and no one has to listen to my opinion of course <laughs> opinion oh Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. Ain't that the truth? But yeah. I just got internet back. And I can finally film and upload stuff if I want to. It's really hard right now. So that's why I'm doing a podcast first. And if I keep like having a date that I post podcasts I can film something or whatever it's just really hard to do stuff right now because um usually on my channel if I'm not able to plan anything I usually see my friends and I record being with them kind of like a vlog type stuff and then I'll have those and then I'll have those videos of doing music video reviews and all that jazz. It's just, like, lately I've been on that road of just doing those videos. And I really need to do more. Um, also, do more po podcasts. Oh, I can't talk. When my mouth's dry, I can't talk. But... Yeah, it's just hard to post certain stuff right now, so be patient with me. I'm trying. I'm trying to clean up our house so it will look better, and I'm trying to clean up the back room so I can organize shit in there more and film back there again, like, um, I'm trying, like, I got another, like, container, drawer container, that's what the mic is on right now, 
that's what I, um, my hand hit a second ago, um, and this is gonna go back there, and I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of shit in it, and organize, and try and make it look better, so I can film back there. having a tea time watching Bob's Burgers because yeah <laughs> I always seem to be watching something during these podcasts but it's on mute and it's on Hulu <laughs> and it's playing episodes I've seen before because it's like the first season and I've seen half of the first season on TV late at night so I'm just looking at it on mute right now. But speaking of watching something, I kind of want to watch Tiger King, just to feel included. And I'm really curious what, what the actual shit shows, because the only thing I know about this show is a People's Magazine article. Yeah. And... That's seriously all I know. It tells me the basics and how, like, he married two guys. One died, one left, or something like that. I don't know. And now he's married to some other dude that's, like, in his 20s. And I'm like, damn. He like him, yeah. (laughs) But, yeah, I need to watch it so I can understand this shit more. There's a lot of people saying don't waste your time watching it. It's not worth it. That's just a whole bunch of crap. You're going to waste your life, parts of your life, by watching it. Like, yeah, like, do I really have anything else better to do? Hmm? Maybe film. I don't know. (laughs) But if I watch it, I can have a little podcast on it, maybe. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. But, yeah. My my quarantine binge watching just started when I got internet like a week ago. I literally got internet a week ago. And that's when the binge watching started. Everyone's like day 30 something, day 39 or whatever. And I'm just like <laughs> day 7 <laughs> of binge watching like literally I had no internet at the beginning of this and no way to like binge watch stuff just had an antenna to watch we still watch our antenna of course but like if we want to watch something else we go and put it on the flex and watch it (laughs) but yeah it just started now the binge watching and so far I haven't been able to finish um, a season of something that I started, like, a couple weeks after it came out. I ended up watching all the good girls, and, yeah, that's, that's all I've binge-watched so far. Lately, all I've watched is, like, like, random stuff. Like, I turned it on Sons of Anarchy, and then Bob's Burgers, and that's, and that's really all that I've been watching. One thing that just recently happened um, was I got asked to go to a friend's house, basically leave the house and go straight there, and without thinking, I said, yeah, 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 because I'm just like, a friend wants me to come over, da, 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 and then I talked to my parents about it, and... They were like, I don't think you need to be going out right now. And then I started thinking, like, I shouldn't have agreed. I shouldn't have. Um, my friend who asked me to come over um, is was Erica. And Erica is an essential worker right now. And she's still going in to work. And she's around a lot of people. And my parents... We're thinking that it would be a lot safer if I just stayed home because where my dad 
is 67 and my niece and nephew come here every other week and they'd be coming over this weekend and I would have been coming back this weekend when they were going to get here and even if like like say say Erica would go to work say someone is sick someone's carrying it on something she's around it it touches something on her and she would come back and I'd end up touching it or it touching something of mine and me carrying it from there to here and just my parents wanted to be safe and I understood that after thinking about it I was just like like I shouldn't have agreed to that because the reason mostly is because of my dad my dad will be turning 68 in June so my dad is the oldest person in the house and I don't want to risk anything so when this is all over I will be gladly to stay with her for a while I'll gladly stay with her but right now no but yeah I need to start coming up with some stuff to film guys I'm cleaning right now that's all I have planned at the moment I did write a bunch of sketches down that I want to film but I really need to clean up the stuff in our house right now until I can film something mostly because um like when the kids are here stuff's just thrown here and here and here and here or like around my computer it's just like there's a bunch of stuff thrown in that area it's just like oh I don't want the kids to touch it so it's just put there and covered and it doesn't get touched or we're like we're trying to clean out um, our old trailer that I grew up in and bringing some of the stuff from there to here gotta clean so that's all I got planned is to clean right now so I can film <laughs> but yeah that's life right now in quarantine nothing much going here just gotta plan shit and film and all this jazz so yeah <sighs> joyful joyful I can't joyful joyful speak correctly speak correctly my tea's gone that's sad now it's just ice. Mm hmm. I'm gonna end this um, since this is basically just like a little catch up podcast um, to talk about quarantine a little bit and whatever. <laughs> Hopefully, the next one will be a topic one. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and start making those once in a while. Just talk about shit that's on my mind, what's happening, and then the next will be about a topic. And I'll actually write shit down and stay in order, other than repeating some of the same stuff. And pausing a lot <laughs> and not knowing what to say. But, yeah, um, one good thing about the podcast, hopefully that can happen after this is all done with, it can be more than just me. I have um, a splinter now where I can put two of the microphones in, and it works. And I really want to do that, and I can't wait to try it out and see if it, like, sounds good, and I could just make a podcast featuring somebody um most likely I feel like the first person I want to do it with is either um I feel like I should do it with Nick 
I think that would be fun. I think that would be a cool first one with somebody. Um, like, say, like, next, one of the next time, like, I'm over there whenever this shit's done with and Jesse's able to go back to work, I could be like, yeah, we're going to do our podcast. Da, da, da. We could go downstairs where it's more quiet and do it. And Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited to see my friends and film again with them and do shit. But yeah, um, I can't wait for that. (laughs) Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end this. Um, hopefully the next one's better and I actually stay on topic or whatever it is. Or have a topic. (laughs) But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go. And I want y'all to stay safe out there. Wash your damn hands. And continue being you.